Hello, grade 8, and welcome to Unit 2, which talks about genes and heredity. In Unit 2, we are only going to talk about one topic, which is composed of three lessons. Patterns of inheritance, chromosomes and inheritance, genetic coding, and protein synthesis. Concepts to know. The key concept for this unit is change. Since we're talking about genes and heredity, so there are genetic changes, different traits. So the key concept here is change. Related concept is transformation and pattern. As we know that traits come in patterns, genetic inheritance, the probability of uh, certain traits come in patterns and they are transformed from one form to another. The global context is identities and relationships. How does the change and transformation of, of certain genes and traits help identify our identities and relationships between the people around us? As for the statement of inquiry, the identity formation of an organism is dependent on the patterns of nature that contribute to its transformation. So the key concept, related concept, and global context are all put together to give us the statement of inquiry for Unit 2 of Genes and Heredity. Criteria in this unit, you will be assessed in Criterion A, which will be paper pencil exam, which is the final. Criterion B, which is inquiring and designing. So we will do a few lab uh, experiments where you design a few experiments and you assess are assessed through them. And for Criterion D, which is uh, the impact of uh, science in real life. So we're going to connect what we're going to take and how it impacts uh, our ideas in real life. In genes and heredity, we said we only have one topic, so it's divided into three lessons. So we're going to start with the first lesson, which is called Patterns of Inheritance. In this lesson, we will get introduced to the meaning of genetics and traits. What are genetics? What are genes? What are traits? What, what do we mean by patterns of genetics and traits? How are they inherited? To, to start with this, we will be introduced to Gregor Mendel's experiment. So we're going to get to know that Gregor Mendel was a monk that used to grow pea plants. In this experiment, he viewed that peas plant grow in different traits depending on different places and different characteristics. We're going to know what these characteristics are and how his experiment got him to be called the father of genetics. And then we're going to understand what are alleles and write them. We have dominant alleles, which from their name, they are dominant and more put out there. And then we have recessive, which are less shown. And we're going to know how we can write them, how we can interpret these alleles. And then we're going to understand how there is probability in genetics and how we can draw it in a punt square to identify inherited traits. After knowing the probability of the genetics, we're going to explain genotype and phenotype, which can be distinguished by a few things. This is what we are going to talk about the first lesson. Moving on to the second lesson, which is chromosome and inheritance. We will get introduced to the meaning of chromosomes. What are homologous chromosomes? What are sister chromosomes? How can we identify them? And then we will be able to use a pedigree to determine inherited diseases in a family, such as the first lesson where we had the probability of different inherited traits, which is by using a punt square. In this lesson, we are going to use a pedigree. A pedigree is a 
chart that flows from one generation to the other showing what can be inherited from diseases from one generation to the other. And then we will be able to differentiate between meiosis and mitosis. As we know, there are a cell cycle and it can be either meiosis or mitosis and there are differences between the two cycles. We will get to differentiate between them. We will get to know more about them and we will talk about each cycle separately. Moving on. To the last lesson, which is genetic coding and protein synthesis, we will understand why cells undergo DNA replication. To start with that, we were going to understand what does DNA mean? How do we replicate it? Why is it replicated? How does that help us? We will learn how cells make protein. So we have protein in our bodies that are made by cells. We're going to learn how the protein is made in our cell. We will understand genetic coding. What does genetic coding mean? How does it help us in DNA replication? And then we will learn how cells undergo protein synthesis. So as there is DNA replication, there is also protein synthesis. So we will understand how the genetics in our body can help these two processes. As for the unit activities, we have activity one, which is drawing a punt square. We're going to know how we can draw a punt square and see inherited traits, different traits. We're going to practice a lot of different traits. As for activity two, we are going to draw a pedigree. I said before that a pedigree is a chart that flows from one generation to the other. We can draw three to four generations and discuss the different diseases that can be inherited from either a parent or a sibling or different offspring. So we will learn how the disease goes from generation to generation and there are some rules that we will follow to draw a pedigree and also rules to follow for drawing a pun square. So these two will be very fun activities and very knowledgeable activities. As for the skills that are used in this unit is the organizational skills. We are going to use a graphic organizer to differentiate between meiosis and mitosis. As we said, we are going to talk about these cell cycles. As for information literary skills, we are going to present the poster of inherited traits after reading the lesson and skimming it. This is how we use literacy skills from the information we have learned. And that is it for this unit. Good luck. Thank you so much. I hope that this unit will bring you a lot of knowledge and you will ace it. Thank you so much, eighth grade.